I've always wanted to work with game birds, so this was really the ideal thing for me. I got a couple technicians with me. They're working with me through the whole project. Um, and we also worked with TWRA. Um, Officer Thurston's been helping us out with finding sites for us and baiting it and monitoring it with, with us. For the setup, it's just kind of a step-by-step -step process, making sure the weights are spread out so when the net fires, the whole net back end of the net spreads out too. Um, making sure the rockets are high enough that we don't catch any birds, but also low enough that we don't miss any birds flying out the back. We have five counties. We have Wayne County, Giles County, Lawrence County, Bedford County, and Murray County. Between the decline in harvest and the input that we're getting from hunters, from landowners, from our wildlife officers that are in the field that are out there every day on the ground, um, all those pieces of the puzzle put together just told us that we need to look into this further, that something may be going on. And this is our way of trying to put all those puzzle pieces together and see if there's an answer. And it may not be one answer. It may be several things or it may show nothing. But with this study, hopefully, we'll be able to see some trend. They're right there. They're right by the tree. The one good thing about this is Hopefully it'll bring in the other flock quicker. It's basically what we're trying to do is figure out why the hunter harvest levels are dropping within these counties. Um, we're seeing big impacts in Wayne, Wayne County, uh, Lawrence County, and uh, Giles County. Bedford and Murray are the counties where we're not seeing a decline in harvest and we don't have a lot of people coming to us saying they're seeing a decline in population or flocks. So we're kind of using them as a control to see what's going on with turkey population in those counties different than from the counties we got down the south portion. It kind of shoots over, drops in, and pockets them. Once the birds jump up into the net, the rockets kind of start to pocket. In a situation with big birds, I probably would have shot already, but we only have five. Initially, we had a group of toms. They strolled in, and there was eight of them max, and I didn't want to shoot today without it breaking a limit on something. Those toms are coming. And then we had a flock of, I think it was 30 to 40 hens come in with a couple of jakes, and then the toms came back. And it was difficult because the toms ate all our food, so the hens were just scattered around they kept going to the rockets and looking at them at the anchor lines. And we can't shoot when a bird's that close to a rocket or an anchor line because we don't want to injure or kill any birds. Ready? Go, 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 go. Take them. Rotate them. Oh, it's a big bird. Pick them, rotate them. We have two sites in each county. We want 10 hens and 10 males in each site. So within each county, that's gonna be 40 birds. Lawrence County has an extra site, so they have an extra 20 birds. So it totals out to 220 birds in the study. This year, what we're trying to do is we're putting uh, transmitters on these birds so we can monitor their movements. This particular transmitter that we're putting on is going to tell us where he is and it's designed to give off a mortality signal. So if the bird doesn't move for eight hours, the pulse rate of the transmitter picks up. And then when nesting season comes, we can monitor hen nesting, uh, hen success, and then really once, once they uh, have a hatch, we're gonna go in there, we're gonna catch the poults, the little chicks too, put a couple transmitters on them, and try to figure out the mortality rate of poults as well and try to figure out also the habitat use. Uh, we're looking at habitat analyses for nesting sites and for um, poult and brood use. So, since we have an adult hen here, we're gonna do two fingers okay. with okay. roughly for the transmitter. Uh -huh. The ultimate goal for us is just to know what the birds are doing, uh, how, they're, the, how they are behaving, how much predators is making an impact on depredation, uh, the nest success of the poults. We've never done a study like this. And so it's, it's gonna be a window into what our turkeys here in Middle Tennessee and Tennessee are doing and where they're traveling and what's happening to them. 